Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'll be talking about some tips I have for physics GCSE. So let's get straight on into the video. My first tip is something really quick to do like maybe right now and it's to memorize the circuit symbols in the circuits for electricity because they can ask you to draw them so it's a good idea to memorize them before the exam. Second tip is to stop trying to memorize those equations because we have them in the exam. We get a full equation sheet with every single equation unlike other years. So stop trying to memorize those equations because you don't need to. Thirdly, in questions that have anything to do with energy, if there's some kind of energy being transferred somewhere, you have to talk about that energy. That energy does just disappear. It's been transferred somewhere and you will probably have to say where it's been transferred or how it's been transferred in some way. Often in GCSE physics, the same amount of energy will be transferred into something else. But if they do ask you why that can't happen, it's obviously because not everything is 100% efficient. In fact, nothing is 100% efficient. And that might be the answer to some question like, what assumption have you made about this energy transfer or something like that? Also, for the five and six markers in physics that have anything to do with maths, you need to keep in mind that you're going to be using not just one equation, you're going to be using two or even three equations for those five and six markers. So if you're using only one equation, in a maths question for physics and it's a five or six marker, you're doing something wrong and you need to look at what you're doing and try to remember any other equations that might help with the question. This tip technically applies to all sciences, but just remember that there is some content from paper two that can show up in paper one and it's part of the key ideas, part of the specification. Make sure you just look over that quite briefly just to make sure you're not blindsided by any random topics that come up and you think well this should be in paper too why is it here or vice versa also a lot of times people forget to bring a protractor into the exam especially for the waves question protractors are needed so don't forget one now that's all the tips i have for today make sure you like the video and subscribe and comment anything about any other exam you've done maybe any other tips for other people and I will be seeing you in the next video.